Good day. Today's topic is project stakeholders. I will be the presenter for this topic, and my name is Munir Ajam. As you can see from this slide, by education, I'm a civil engineer from the University of Houston in 1987 with a master's degree in engineering and construction management from the University of California at Berkeley in 1990. I've had multiple positions over the years, uh, starting working in engineering and consultancy, with after my master's, been working on project management in the petrochemical oil and gas industry back in the US and in Saudi Arabia. And since 2005, I have been leading Sukad Group, a company specialized in project management services uh, operating from Dubai and covering West Asia and even some parts of Africa. We will start our discussion on project stakeholders by giving an overview and definition of some of the key terms. The common definition for project stakeholder is everyone who is involved or impacted by the project. Now that's usually quite wide and include many people. We need to stop at the word impact and discuss the difference between impact and effect. When we say project stakeholder is everyone who is impacted by the project, the impact is not one way, it's both ways. Those who are impacted, they can also impact the project. So maybe a better word to use is affect and affected. Using the word affected, maybe we can revise the definition of stakeholder to say that everyone involved in the project, everyone that is affected by the project, and everyone who can affect the project objectives. The first key stakeholder is the project manager. The project manager is the person in charge of managing the day-to-day -day of the project. Uh, he or she is the person that have to stay focused on the objective and manage the project work from the idea all the way to closure and hopefully realizing the benefit of the project. However, the project manager does not work alone. Unless the project is very small, the project manager does not work alone. The project manager have the project management team working with him or her. The project management team may consist of one, two, three, four people, or maybe as many as 20 or 25 or even 100 on large or mega project. Uh, the different positions that exist within a project management team could be a cost specialist, planner, scheduler, subcontract administrator, quality manager, safety manager, environmental manager, uh, a risk manager, or maybe other position that would be responsible for certain areas of management of the project. Before moving on, a quick recap. First, we have the the project manager as a key stakeholder that is responsible for the overall management of the project from idea to closure and beyond. Assisting the project manager, we have the project management team, which consists of numerous resources, each specialized in an area of project management that would be responsible to help the project manager in managing that specific area. Next, we will discuss the project team or the rest of the project team. Now we move to the project team. The project team consists of three components. The project manager is the first component, which is part of the team. The project management team is part of the overall team as well. But the project team also includes other personnel. These are the subject matter experts. These are the technical experts. These are the doers, the people who will do the work of the project. These other people, the subject matter expert, the technical people, the functional resources, uh, could be different from project to project or even from one phase of the project to another. For example, in, uh, regardless what type of project we are dealing with, in the feasibility study phase, we need people who have expertise in market research, financial analysis, uh, feasibility studies, and things like that. But if the project, for example, have a construction phase, 
during the construction phase, we need people with construction experience, logistics, supply chain. In other words, the people of the project team, the subject matter expert, the technical people, could change over time in a given project. Of course, in a small project, again, maybe the same people will be involved from start to finish, but in most projects, usually that's not the case. The project subject matter expert do change over time uh, from phase to phase. And of course, they are different from one industry to another uh, because of the nature of the work. In construction, we have construction people, engineering, we have engineering for media project, we have people with media expertise. In IT project, we need the programmer, developers, a business analyst. Uh, in pharmaceutical industry, we need people with experience uh, in, uh, in, in medicine and chemistry and other factors as well. So the technical team usually could change over time. As we know, in most projects, we work with matrix type organization, which means the technical people, the subject matter expert we just discussed, would come from different departments around the organization, or they could even be outsourced. With the project team defined, we need to move on to discuss the other stakeholders. The first key stakeholder that we will discuss is the project sponsor. Some define the sponsor as a person with money and they link that role to money. However, we don't like this kind of link. In general, the sponsor is someone who is a senior manager entrusted by the management of the organization uh, to manage the project objectives. So basically that person would be more of a senior level responsible for the overall objective of the project and benefits of the project uh, going from the idea all the way to benefit realization uh, post completion of the project. Now we said the sponsor is a senior manager and in the picture it shows sits over above the project manager but that doesn't mean the sponsor is the manager of the project manager. The way we like to see this relationship is that the sponsor is the customer of the project manager. So in other words, the project manager job is to manage the day-to-day -day activities in managing the project, where the sponsor focuses on the business objective and working closely with the project manager. Because the sponsor is like the customer for the project manager, the project manager will work closely with the customers whenever it is needed. So in one way, that relationship is where the sponsor would have an oversight over the project manager to ensure things are working in line with the business objective of the project. On the other hand, the sponsor is there also to help the project manager in areas where the project manager does not have authority, such as working with the functional manager, senior management of the company, or maybe even an external customer if needed in order to ensure and to help the project manager stay focused on working toward delivering success on the project. Let us go back to the definition of the project stakeholders. What we said earlier is the stakeholders, the stakeholders are everyone who is involved in the project. Let's just stop here for a second. Those involved, okay, are the one we discussed already, the project team. So the project manager, the project management team, and the other subject matter expert or the other technical people. These are the stakeholders who are involved in the project because they are the ones who are doing and managing the work. In addition to those involved, we have the stakeholders who are affected by the project. These would be typically uh, depend on the nature of the project. For example, if the project is construction or uh, work that include building a plant or a facility or an industry, the neighborhood, the area, the environments are things that are affected by the project. And therefore, you know, the community, society, NGOs, other organizations that could be outside are affected by the project and depend on the power they have, they could affect the project uh, very much. So basically, Again, we have those who are affected by the project and depend on their level of power and interest that they have, they can have an effect on the project that could be negative or positive. 
Other stakeholders include the functional manager, the project management office, uh, senior management, other project managers, other projects that might be related or somehow uh, close to, this, to the project that is ongoing on. All of these are uh, areas, people, organization that might be affected by a project and therefore they can also affect the objective of the project if not managed properly. With this, we close the subject with some information about SUCAD. Our email is info at SUCAD.com, as you can see on the screen. On this screen, we list the SUCAD division, which is learning and development, the first one. Organizational and consultancy solutions is the second one. Technology solution is the third one. And the last one is multimedia by SUCAD. On this screen, you see additional SUCAD sites. The first one is SUCAD Way, which lists the various research and development products that SUCAD has been working on. The second one is a full product management knowledge portal that's available with different access. Some access is free to all. Some access is for registered users, whereas some access is restricted to clients only or paid subscribers. We also have an English blog and an Arabic blog. SUCAD is also available on all social media sites. What you see here is Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. We are also on SlideShare uh, and some other sites as well. Finally, this presentation or animation is shared here under the Creative Commons guideline that you can see on screen. Uh, feel free to share it with others uh, as long as you credit us for the work. Thank you.